it's Sarah from All Coming Bass Ladies and today I would like to talk about Ethereum and what an interesting month it has been for Ethereum and after a year of huge losses and pretty much never-ending criticisms for its scaling issues Ethereum is actually back and in the last few weeks Ethereum has been one of the best performers in the market and part of the rise has come from the announcement that Raiden is now live on the Ethereum mainnet and the bullish momentum has actually seen Ethereum narrow the gap with XRP and at the moment Ethereum is only 600 million behind XRP and this is a very narrow gap considering that a few weeks ago XRP was ahead of Ethereum by close to 5 billion. If its current momentum actually continues, Ethereum could overtake XRP. However, even if it doesn't happen in this period or within a couple of days, chances are that at some point in 2019 Ethereum will be back to number 2 and everything will be back to normal. There are a number of factors basically that support this possibility and the most important one is that Ethereum is solving most of the problems that led to its massive price decline in 2018. And the most important of them is actually being the scalability issues. And Ethereum is actually getting closer to achieving the level of scalability that would make it useful in building large-scale dApps. The release of Raid and Red Eyes on the Ethereum mainnet points out to the increased pace towards making Ethereum a scalable and practical world computer. The price pump that Ethereum has experienced recently goes to show that the market does believe in the power of Ethereum. And if it can scale effectively, buyers would flock indefinitely and therefore once more upgrades get released in 2019 demand for Ethereum could rise significantly and possibly push it past XRP whose upside momentum has been relatively weak lately. It is also noteworthy that Ethereum's drop was largely sentiment driven and the sell-off was largely fear driven and didn't exactly reflect Ethereum's true value and that's because from a fundamentals perspective Ethereum is only second to Bitcoin in terms of the network effect and on top of that its scalability issues are only an issue because it is the most used smart contract platform in the market and most of the platforms that are competing with Ethereum only appear better because of their low transaction volumes and most of them would crumble if they were to carry the load that Ethereum handles at any given time and that's why its upgrades are also slower because it is a more complex system and now that investors can see improvement developments get implemented with more upgrades in the way sentiment is likely to improve as can be seen in the buying pressure of the last few weeks and the release of more updates in 2019 would not only see Ethereum retake its position but also possibly retest its 2017 highs within the year. It's definitely one of the cryptos to watch in the coming year. And even two months ago, Vitaly Buterin said that Ethereum 2.0 is not far away and every indication is that he was right. And maybe 2019 will be the year of Ethereum. So what do you guys actually think about Ethereum? The amount of platforms that are available to build the apps and smart contracts is uncountable right now and I hope that my reasoning for why I think 2019 might be the year of Ethereum has been enough for you to understand but I understand that everyone might have a different opinion so don't hesitate to let me know in the comments and if you guys enjoy this video hit the like button subscribe to Alcoin Bus Ladies and remember to follow me on Twitter at Alcoin Sarah where you know I just post stuff so I hope you enjoyed this video and you agree with me and I'll catch you later have a good one bye bye